Hi everybody, it is Susan with Sparkling Strips by Susan, and I just wanted to hop on here real quick and do a very quick tutorial on how to apply your Color Street strips. So if you're watching this, I assume that you are fairly new to Color Street and maybe you have never seen how easy it is to apply Color Street strips, but that is what I'm gonna do tonight. I am going to be applying a set called Glazed Over, and this is a new limited limited edition set and I've never wore it before so I'm really excited to try it out. So when you first get your Color Street sets you just peel that open like that and they come with 16 dry nail polish strips. Like that open. Okay and they also come with a nail file and an alcohol wipe. So we're gonna use that in just a second. Let me go ahead and open my nail file up. And then your Color Street strips come in a sealed envelope that looks like this. There are um, eight right there, but then there's also, there's two sets of eight in there. So we're just gonna set that to the side for now. And I am going to just buff my nails. I've already filed my nails into the shape that I want, but so I'm just going to just rough them up just a little bit, not too much, but just enough to kind of make a good nail for my color street to stick to. And I am only going to do my pinky and my ring fingers for this tutorial. I'm not going to take up all your time and do a full set tutorial but I just wanted to give you enough of an idea so that you can tell how to apply your color street strips. All right, so that's about all the buffing that I'm gonna do for these two nails that I'm gonna use. So I'll set that to the side. And then I am going to use my alcohol wipe to go over the nails that I just buffed with my file. So I'm just gonna make sure I get all the oils off my skin and all the filing dust. Okay, and then I'm just gonna set that to the side. Make sure that that dries really well. And while that's drying, I'm gonna open my Color Street strips. Sometimes I have trouble finding the little notch on which side it is. Just gonna pull that back. And I don't want to damage my envelope too much because I will be putting um, the leftover strips back in this envelope and after you finish your manicure with your leftover strips you're either going to want to seal the end of this envelope with a flat iron. I've never tried it that way before. I know other people have but I have never tried it that way but I always put my leftover strips back in the envelope and then I put that in either a Ziploc bag or a Tupperware dish and put that in my freezer. And so that is where I keep my leftover Color Street strips. So I'm gonna take this out. I'll just take both of them out for now. Set that one to the side. I'm definitely not gonna need that. And I'm just gonna look and see which strips I wanna use. For my pinky, I usually don't use the smallest one. A lot of times I will save this one and use it for my toes. I might post a tutorial on how to do that some other time. But I usually take the second smallest one for my pinky. So I'll set the rest over here. And the first thing you do is peel off the clear top layer. I'm gonna set this over here on my um, trash pile. This is gonna be my trash pile. And then gently peel off the silver tab. And I'm gonna set that, rest of that over in my trash pile. And there you have your Color Street strip. So I'm gonna apply that to my pinky by putting it, oh, try not to fold it. I'm going to put it just above my cuticle. So I set it down just above my cuticle. Whoops, that didn't work. And then I'm gonna make sure that it is on there as it should be, nice and centered. And then I'm just gonna press 
down and rub it down so that I know that it's really, really on there. I'm just gonna rub it really good. And then I'm going to take my thumbnail, which is your best color street strip, always, or excuse me, color street tool. Always, always, always start putting your color street strips on your pinky and work your way to your nail, your thumbnail, because you always want to use your thumbnail to help you trim your color street strips. So I'm just going to go with my thumb around the top of the nail came off pretty easily. So I'm going to, I will probably use a file to smooth that down in just a little bit. So then I'm going to take the other half of this. And remember, you can stick it to your finger, you can lift it back up again. I'm going to take the silver tab off that that goes in the trash pile. And then I'm going to put the rounded edge, again, just above my cuticle centered on my finger and I'm going to press it down really good just like I did before another thing about this is you can apply color street strips anytime but it's a good idea to try really hard not to get your hands wet or use lotion for about 30 minutes after you apply your color street. And you can, you know, you can, if you, you can apply them and you can still do lots of things after you apply them. But if you give them time to cure, like overnight, then they stay on even better. So what I like to do is to put them on after I have showered, washed my face, brushed my teeth, done all the things after I've gotten ready for bed, then I will put my color street on and then I will let it cure overnight. So you can see, I just trimmed all that excess away. And then with the excess, make sure you don't leave it on a wooden surface because it is real nail polish. So make sure that you put it on your trash pile and don't let it touch any wood. Okay, so now my pinkies are done. Now I'm gonna take the next bigger strip and I'm gonna do the same thing. Peel that top clear part off, lift by the silver tab, put that in the trash, and then put it right, push my cuticle back just a little bit, put it right above your my cuticle and Press it really, really good. Make sure it's on there really good. And then use my thumb to trim the excess. Got a little excess on the side. And then just push it down under my nail. And again, try really hard not to fold the part that you're going to use for the other nail. Okay, press that, smooth that down really good. Okay, then I'm going to take this, take off the silver tab, put that over in my trash pile, and then push my cuticles back a little bit more, and then do the same thing. Smooth it down really good. My nails are not super long. They're a little bit longer than the tips of my fingers. If you have very long nails, you're probably not going to be able to get two nails out of each strip. But if your nails are the length of mine, then that shouldn't be a problem to be able to get to use one strip for two nails. This set glazed over seems to be a little bit thicker than most solid sets. So it's taking a little bit more effort, not much. Okay, and then again, that excess strip, make sure I don't touch it to the wooden table. And that is it. It's kind of hard to see because this 
set is so light. I said this pinky nail, I'm gonna take this file and just kind of very gently file off the edges. File that down a little bit. And then smooth that down a little bit more. And once that cures overnight, then it will stick to my nail really, really well. And these will last up to 10 days, but I am always able to get more like 14 days out of my color street strips. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of my nails off camera. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.